Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, we will see how to download the UGC NetJRF Environmental Sciences study material without paying amount. That is, it is a free study material which is um, prepared by me. So, this will be very useful to you for preparation of uh, UGC NetJRF Environmental Sciences exam, especially for the paper 2. Before going into this video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. So it will be very useful to you for getting information related to UGC, NetJRF and other information from agriculture side. Okay, you can share our channel with your friends also. So here in Google, you can search like UGC, NetJRF, Environmental Science, Full Material Download. So like this, you have to search. So if you search like this here, this research get will come. So this is the file uploaded by me. Okay, so if you click on this, it will go to research gate. So here research gate is opening now as I installed the research gate app. So it's going into that app. But uh, if you are not having research gate uh, app, so you can download from Chrome only. Okay. So here the material will be there. Here you can see that 9784 people already downloaded this material. Okay. So many are using this material for the UGC NetJR of preparation. So here if you scroll down, so here this full material will come. You can view. So here someone asked the question from unit 6 to 10 available sir actually I prepared this material in two volumes okay so but later I merged those two volumes 1 to 5 unit and 1 to 5 unit both will be there okay from the unit 1 to 10 will be there by seeing the content of this uh, you don't uh, think that only unit uh, 1 to 5 is available in this unit 1 to 10 are available in this material so you can click on this download full text already i have downloaded this uh, full text so i will open this one so this is that one i downloaded this long back so here i will tell the how this material was designed so i started preparation for UGC NetJRF in the year 2021 maybe by October I think so so by November one exam came November or December so that time I did not uh, able to clear so after that in the year 2022 another exam came it was like uh, first it was in August then it was postponed to some other month and it uh, happened in September, October like that. So during that time, what are the materials I used for preparation? I compiled that in this material. Okay. I did not use any book for the paper two, but for paper one, I used that KVS modern book that will be very useful to you. So you can buy that book. I will give the link of that book in this product of this video. Okay. Next with regard to this uh, material. So this material, if you look onto the syllabus, so here it will be the, there will be the syllabus. So 10 units are there. Fundamentals of environmental sciences, environmental chemistry, biology, geosciences, energy and environment, pollution and control, hazardous waste management. Next, um, environmental assessment management and legislation statistics contemporary environmental issues so if you look on look on to this one most of the units you may have already studied in your uh, ug courses or even in school or you in msc okay so that's how you can easily clear especially if you are from the agriculture background in agronomy soil science meteorology environmental science so you can easily clear this ugc net jrf so here uh, we have launched this uh, soft copy by uh, for reaching the 30k subscribers now we are having 37k subscribers next up uh, here i will tell unit by unit so this is the fundamental of environmental sciences so in this unit the syllabus is like uh, all the syllabuses that what they have listed in that um, syllabus of uh, ugc net jrf so we have given this point by point that is a uh, topic by topic so we did not miss anything okay so here uh, will be the like a law of thermodynamics structure and composition of atmosphere hydrosphere lithosphere biosphere this you may have studied in your uh, ug only in meteorology or in environmental sciences also next is law of thermodynamics heat process transfer various uh, interfaces material balance so these also you have studied in your 12th standard only next is meteorological parameters these all will be covered in meteorology so again we have repeated this here next is interaction between earth man and environment biogeographic provinces for world and agroclimatic zones of india so this one 
you may have studied in your meteorology only agro climatic zone agro ecological zones those and all concept of sustainable development so this is the sustainable development goals sdg okay so this one you can note down here it is also important next is natural resources and their assessment next is remote sensing related things so this remote sensing related thing also you may have studied in your ug courses related to remote sensing and gis so same thing we have repeated here next is environmental education and awareness environmental ethics so by this you need one is completed here also you can see most of the things you have studied in your ug course only next is uh, second is environmental chemistry so here the classification of elements so classification of elements means uh, that periodic table will come next is tokyo chemistry gibbs energy chemical potential chemical kinetics chemical equilibrium solubility of gases in water the carbonate system unsaturated and saturated hydrocarbons radioisotope all this you have studied in your 10th and 12th chemistry okay from this you can you can refer that material or that book also for reading these things next is composition of air particles ions and radicals in the atmosphere chemical sp species and uh, chemical process in the formation of inorganic and organic particulate matters thermochemical and photochemical reactions in atmosphere this you already know because uh, this is with related to the fog formation mist formation like that next to oxygen and ozone chemistry photochemical smog so here also smog is there so this will also be easy only next is hydrological cycle water is a universal solvent if you have studied um, this uh, irrigation management course means in importance of water you may have studied these things and all concept of do next dissolved oxygen biological oxygen demand chemical oxygen demand sedimentation coagulation flocculation filtration ph redox potential all this you have studied in your environmental sciences in your ug only next is inorganic and organic components of the soil so here with regard to this all this um, our soil science will come physical property chemical property biological properties all those things will come in this inorganic and organic components next is bio geo cycles nitrogen carbon phosphorus sulfur all you have studied this in microbiology and soil science okay next is toxic chemicals so pesticides and their classification what we have studied in our pesticides courses so that one fungicide insecticide nematicide so how they have classified based on phosphorus or sulfur content or something like that so those things will be there that will also be easy to us next is biochemical aspects of heavy metals and metalloids and pop next is carcinogens in air so from this only they will ask one question here they will give this elements metalloids and uh, heavy metals from they will tell to pick up uh, which of the following is metalloid okay from this heading only you can get one question so like this some questions will be there so if you study this uh, syllabus only you can clear your uh, one or two two questions next is principles of analytical methods so this is a little maybe new to you tritimetry gravimetry bomb calorimetry next is uh, chromatography TLC, GC, HPLC, flame photometry, next is spectrophotometry, electrophoresis, this you may have studied in biotechnology, next is XRF, XRD, N NMR, FTIR, GCMS, same time. So if you study the abbreviations for this, you may attend one question. Okay, so like this some easy questions will be there. So you have to note down all the principles everything in this material also we have given completely. Next is environmental biology. So ecology as internet disciplinary science, origin of life and speciation, human and ecology and settlement. So this is a little okay, no problem. Next is ecosystem and structure and function. So this is very easy only. You have studied in your schools and in UG. A biotic and abiotic components. So in ecosystem, what are the biotic, abiotic? Next, the energy flow in ecosystem. This we have studied in your 10th standard and 12th standard. The energy flow models, food chains, food webs, biogeochemical cycles. This biogeochemical cycles will repeat everywhere. Ecological succession. Succession means after the completion of one generation, the next generation will come. So how it come? So that is, um, there are different methods of succession. That's that they have asked. Next is species diversity, concept of ecotone, ecotone FX. Next ecological habitats and niche. These are you have studied in your in, uh, entomology course, uh, syllabus. Next is ecosystem stability and factors affecting ecosystem stability and services. Next is basics of ecosystem classification. Type of ecosystem desert forest rangeland wetland lotical lenting estuaric oceanic this you have studied in your UG environmental science course only next to biomes biomes also like um, tundra taiga grassland deciduous so these are also important you may have studied in your forestry course next is population ecology this you have studied in your 
entomology ecology course okay in uge only next is community ecology same next is biodiversity and its conservation so this 100% you have studied in your ug courses or even in 12th standard also next is a concept of gene pool biopiracy this you have studied in your breeding okay next is concept of industrial ecology this is little new to you you can read next is toxicology and microbiology this also you have already studied in some of the courses in agriculture huge only next is environmental biotechnology this bioremediation biosensor biofuel bio indicators so bio fertilizers and all they will ask some which of the following is the fungal biocontrol agent which of the following is the bacterial biocontrol agent which is nitrogen fixing bacteria which is nitrogen um, something soluble sorry phosphorus solubilizing like that and all so those questions and all very useful to you as a agriculture students next is uh, environmental geosciences so here will be this origin of earth every thing so what you have studied in your uh, soil science in your that fundamentals course that will be repeated here same minerals and rocks next is uh, this is steady state equilibrium energy budget of earth this you have studied in your meteorology next is the climate of india western disturbances india monsoon road these are all we have studied in el nino la nino all these things we have studied in meteorology next is um, geophysical field okay so here uh, weathering okay next is uh, geochemical classifications of uh, earth so this also we have studied earlier only next is a uh, paleo climate this may be new to you next is distribution of water so this is for water next is this darcy's law and all this darcy's law we have studied in uh, our uh, irrigation science courses hydraulic conductivity groundwater traces all these things next is pollution of groundwater resources next is um, natural resource exploration and exploitation of renewable non renewable resources like that next natural hazards this may be uh, if you have studied in that uh, one course will be there for msc that um, that in that pollution that environment related one course will be there so if you have studied in that course in that course on disaster management natural disaster management so in that course only you may have studied all these things so that will also be very helpful to you next is energy and environment here is sun as the energy all these things we have studied in your school days and in huge only uh, especially these things you may have studied in engineering courses okay principles and generation of hydro power all this we have studied in that uh, engineering some courses will be there nuclear energy fission fusion all this we have studied in that engineering courses only next is environmental implications of energy use pattern so this may be something new to you and uh, here also global warming force uh, global warming everything is there exploitation of wind solar hydropower all this we have studied in that ug engineering course next is environmental pollution and control here with regard to this air pollution water pollution all this pollution will be there so how this pollutions are caused that sources of pollution like that criteria of pollutants how sampling will be done next principles and components and measurements of uh, pollutants next air quality standards so this is very important recently in uh, delhi uh, there is uh, more pollution like that so all these things uh, they may ask in this current affairs also acid rain pollutants this lapse rate gaussian uh, model is very important so all these things you have to note down so here also control so control you can note down next is noise pollution this noise pollution and its indicators are very important these things you have to be very careful next noise dose and noise pollution standards vibrations and their measurement impact of noise pollution on human health next is water pollution so water pollution how it is affecting human plant in animal next how it is measured so like that phc ctds all this we have studied in your ug irrigation management course only next to microbiological analysis of water okay this standards and all they may ask iso 5 uh, 10500 2012 these standards are important they may ask that standard also so that is coming under which standard like that next this is drinking water treatment coagulation flocculation sedimentation filtration disinfection waste water treatment all this we have studied in that uh, environmental sciences courses next is soil pollution so physiochemical biological properties next is analysis of soil quality pollution industrial effluents soil microorganisms and their degradation all this we have studied next is thermal and marine pollution and radio active isotopes so all this will be new to you so just you can read next is this radioactive pollution so this may have studied in your uh, 
ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड केमिस्ट्री लाइक दैट नेक्स्ट इज सालिड एंड हजारडस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एस आई टोल्ड दैट नेचुरल डिसास्टर मैनेजमेंट इफ यू हेव स्टडी देर मे बी सम चांस फॉर यू टू रिकॉल दोस्ट थिंग्स एंड आल सो सालिड वेस्ट टाइप इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हाउ जनरेटेड हाउ इट इज कलेक्टेड एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेड सो इन अवर स्ट्रीट ओनली वी मे हेव सीन दट degradable or non degradable like that so how they will collect how they will transport to next place how they will recycle it or uh, dispose it so like that uh, many things are there so you you can read from our material only okay next hazardous waste type characteristics and health impact waste management e waste so our laptop our mobile everything next is uh, fly ash so what are its components especially if it is near to that uh, brick uh, kilns so there may be some problems what are those things like that and all next is uh, plastic waste resources consequences and management next is uh, environment assessment and management aim and objectives next is environment impact uh, statement so all this will be like a law procedures so this may be new to you so this series and all iso which is series so those things you have to be careful from this paragraph only sure you may get one or two questions okay for example they may ask the construction and demolition of waste management rules which year 2000 okay so like that uh, environment act which year that motor vehicle act which year like that they will ask so in depth also we have given in this material so you can note down next is forest policy water policy national environmental policy all these are important only next is environmental consequences and agreements so recent up to today what are the agreements are there you have to note down this one so all the, these also we have given in our material next is statistical approaches this you may have studied in your ug and currently if you are from a statistics uh, or if you are from agriculture background sure there will be two courses for statistics in your uh, msc so you can note on that course only so attributes and variables all we know that central tendency standard uh, error so all these things next is skewness kurtosis uh, probability sampling theory next uh, distribution normal log binomial poisson t2 f distribution all this distribution next is correlation regression test of hypothesis anova one way two way anova confidence like that next is uh, model environmental model linear simple multiple regression and validation model so this mo- population growth and interaction for this also we have given in our material okay next is uh, contemporary environmental issues so these are the issues like uh, gold in global environmental issues climate change ozone layer depletion all this we are the current burning topics all you may know next is national national plan on climate change so there are some eight missions so you have to be well thorough of for this eight missions like green india that uh, sustainable agriculture like that and all next is current environmental issues in india what are the environmental issues go- going on and completed so this will be very interested to reading like uh, narmada dam there dam palmetti dam all these things so you can read those things and all next is water conservation development and water sheds rain water harvesting this things will be very easy even in our 10th standard 12th standard we will be very interested to attend this uh, rain water harvesting questions and all so you can note down that one next uh, river conservation plans like namini ganga sorry namimi ganga and the yamuna action plan eutrophication what is eutrophication how water wetlands to be conserved ramsar sites so with regard to these things and when we were preparing this material number of ramsar sites were different but now it is different okay so those things you have to be updated by searching in google so which are this uh, current affairs like things to so those things you have to be very careful so you have to take care of the tone next is uh, the soil erosion these are all we have studied in agronomy only next is climate change food security all these things next to forest conservation you may have studied in forest ecos next to wildlife conservation project uh, carbon sequestration and carbon credit this one you may be well versed uh, already next is waste management sustainable habitat green building griha rating norms so if you go to your uh, that fridge or anything so they they may have mentioned this griha sorry i think so in uh, vehicles so uh, like that some ratings will be there so you note down that things and all so we here we have clearly given in this material next ve- vehicle emission norms in india epidemiological issues so these diseases okay next is environmental disasters what are the disasters occurred in india and in world level okay like this uh, chernobyl disaster um, no, fukushima daiichi disaster next is a uh, bobal glass disaster like that so these are the syllabus so we have prepared this material as per syllabus only so if i explain everything in this uh, material so it will not be good so only i explained only that syllabus so based on that syllabus only we have prepared this entire 500 page material okay 
so this material will be very useful to you so you can use this material for your preparation and you can share this with your friends also thank you